Now, 400 years ago today, one of the most infamous figures to be imprisoned in the Tower of London was executed. The writer and adventurer Sir Walter Raleigh spent years in the Bloody Tower, where he dabbled in botany and wrote some of his most famous works. Now it appears he may have also been busy painting after experts uncovered what they think could be his self-portrait on the Tower wall. Holly Goodall has more. He's often remembered as a writer, courtier and explorer of the Americas, a favourite of Queen Elizabeth I. But when he fell from favour, Sir Walter Raleigh spent many years of his life here in the Tower of London. Now 400 years on from his death, experts think they may have found his self-portrait on the walls of the bloody tower where he was imprisoned. This wall was put in in 1605. When he'd been here for two years, he had another 11 years on his sentence to go. And so it's, pos it's quite possible that it was drawn by him or by one of his servants or someone in his family. We have an awful lot of prisoners graffiti lots and lots of people have left their mark and it's one of those things I think that's really powerful when you come here is that you're standing where someone stood when they wrote their name on the wall often it, when they knew that their fate was sealed. Sir Raleigh was imprisoned in the tower three times before he was finally executed in 1618 but as a gentleman his life here was hardly squalid he had servants and his family were allowed to live alongside him he even had his own garden. This herb garden looks much as it would have 400 years ago. It was here that Sir Walter Raleigh was allowed to grow exotic plants he'd brought back from the New World and experiment in brewing herbal medicines. His cordials and various things that were very exotic at the time sold for hundreds of years afterwards as a cure for poison. Of course, he studied inside the uh, bloody tower itself and he wrote his famous volume, The History of the World, Part One. Today, of course, long forgotten. Far from being forgotten, this new exhibition is a celebration of Sir Walter Raleigh's contributions in life on the anniversary of his death. More research will now be carried out on this mysterious mural, but it's hoped it could turn out to be his final legacy. Holly Goodall, BBC London News. That is some exciting graffiti right then. Let's